we are drawn away by our desire. But desire looks so innocent. So my desire for a woman, if I don't check it, it can make me to ruin everything. Marrying a woman does not satiate the desire for a woman. So there are those who thought, who? I can't keep it in my pants. I'm saved now. So let me quickly marry this girly so that whenever I need to roll, then it's covered by the blood. But what you don't realize is you're supposed to deal with this thing before you marry her because this thing is going to grow. This desire is more poisonous than you think. Your desire, now, now many of you are watching social media and the desire for a good man, and the desire for that salacious, that awesome husband that's always vibing to Bobby Brown's music, that, that, that man who, who wears an apron, that desire for a handyman with tall shoulders, beautiful, handsome, you know? And, and when, he, when, when, when you come home, he opens the door for you and says, how you doing, baby? <laughs> <sighs> Take a seat, Dom. I bring the food. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and, and, and takes your feet and begins to rub your feet with a mixture of sanitizer and lotion. I don't know what it is. <laughs> and you go, Whoa! and you post it on social media, I got a real man. That desire can grow into a monster. And I'm not telling you my stories, I'm telling you what the Bible says. So every desire, you need to go home today and check all your little desires. Check them. Because that's when sin enters. Sin enters as a desire. It's sin, but you call it desire. It just hasn't grown enough yet for you to know that it's sin. What thing that makes you, when, when a good looking man walks past, and when he walks past you, and a wave of his cologne hits you, you go, hmm. <laughs> that will grow. Your husband is at home. Your husband is at home. You're looking at somebody else's muscles. Am I making sense? A lot of the things you are struggling with now, they came in as babies, cute little thoughts. You see, your outer man appreciates themselves more than they appreciate God. Generally, the human being generally loves themselves. And on that journey of self, we find desire. So, no demons, no witches, just you and your desire. Because it starts off as desire. It's warm in the beginning. Releases dopamine into the prefrontal cortex. And then you're drawn, I want more. While your husband is at home, you're supposed to be going home at five o'clock, but Mr. Muscle Man always works late. So day one, you manage to get up from your seat now. And you walk past him. See you tomorrow, Jakes. Bye. Ooh, that voice. Tomorrow. Jakes, what are you doing after? Oh, no, I'm busy with stuff. Okay. Are you working late tomorrow? Oh, yeah. Oh, me too. Oh, great. I'll get us some coffee. <gasps> when he says that, desire goes, whoop. When last did Cedric make me even tea? <laughs> I 
And you guess what? My secret lover, he offered cappuccino. And all that needs to happen the next day is for this man to talk French. Now, when he comes and says, you're looking a little low, baby. You want a massage? Then all of a sudden you realize, oh, I can't do this. Come, pastor. Come, mama. You're going to be desire. You need to stop desire before this line. Because if desire gets past this line, you have no way of resisting. Are you with me, Christian? Just duck a bit. You still have the training, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. I don't know how your thighs will feel after this. A little bit more. See? Come. When desire crouch, if you don't deal with desire while it's a baby, it grows into something else. See, desire is the mother that gives birth to sin. You're thinking you must avoid sin when you see it. No. Wrong teaching. You must check your desires out because one of those mamas is going to give out sin. Your desire is the one that gives birth to sin. So a mature Christian that really wants to walk with God begins to question everything that they want and everyone that they want. Because you have no capacity capacity to resist it when it is fully conceived. Desire gives birth to sinful actions. Now it's a river. It's out of control. It begins to control you. You are no longer in control once it enters the circumference. And when, read it with me, and when? So, okay, come on, go, Gary. Deaconess, come. When you start dating desire, desire is with me. And I like desire. me, isn't it? But what does she give birth to? Huh? Oh, she gives birth to? Sorry, Uncle Gary. She gives birth to? So now sin says, hey, and then I'm asking, who is this? Who is this? Sin. Your baby. Look at him. You got it. You got it. Let's, let's get some acting into this. How many people have said, you're pregnant? How? How do you know it's mine? The first thing they, how do I know it's mine? Saying that alone, you have made a prostitute of whoever it is you're talking to. And desire turns around and says, hello, you forgot how many nights we spent together? I'm sure it was one of those nights, you know, when we were playing that song and you said I should shift this way and you felt really warm? I think that's when we made sin. So you can just click now. Hey. Who's this? Who's this? Is that how you're going to look when you discover? Who's this? Who's this? Sin. Whose baby is this? Whose baby is this? Yours. <laughs> When did it happen? I don't know. <laughs> that wasn't in the script. <laughs> it's only men who can relate. When you get that shock. She's got her ovulation calendar. She won't tell you about it. When you, get that <laughs> when you get that shock on that day, but we use protection. 
You will look for all the excuses, but sin has arrived. And sin's a big boy. And since his mother is in the house, he starts throwing his weight around. And when you come from work, he's on the couch, he's eating all the food out of the fridge. He's making you spend more money, he takes the truck, empties the petrol tank, and leaves it there. Because sin's nature is destructive. But, but then guess what happens after that? One day, sin brings somebody home. Come on now, Deacons. Who's this? Don't say I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this? Who's this? Jocelyn. <laughs> Can I have my water, please? <laughs> An innocent joke, sir. Sin gives birth to? <laughs> Clap hands for them. Clap hands for them. <laughs> 